How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm doing a short video demonstration on QuickBooks Reconciliation Revisited. I'm calling it Revisited because I've done this several times but I've got a few new tips for you. I'm going to go over how to change the columns displayed in the reconciliation window, how to sort the reconciliation columns, adding shortcuts to the icon bar, which ones to add and why, and then why you should be using Ask My Accountant. So if we switch over to our sample company here, Vandalay Industries, first thing I'll do is go into the reconciliation window by hitting reconcile and entering a ending balance. This is all fictional. Um, but what you can do here to show different columns or reduce this information you're seeing is by clicking right here, columns to display. And that's going to bring up all the columns um, that are currently being displayed by this check mark. Let's say you want to add memo, you simply do that. So you can modify this however you want um, to give you the right information you need. Um, all these are sortable um, by clicking on the column header. Uh, you can sort it either way and it's obviously pretty valuable to be able to sort by check number um, when you get to that check sequence on your bank statements. And I also sort a lot by amount. Um, sometimes you get into clients that have lots of deposits and they're very unique numbers um, so what you can do is sort by amount makes it a little bit easier the last thing I want to go over is adding shortcuts to the icon bar and why I really recommend you add right check credit card charge and deposit um, this makes it really easy if you're here and something's missing from the check you can just real easily create the check and that pops right into your reconciliation window rather than thinking about where you have to go banking right checks um, and one thing a lot of people don't know is that you can add anything to um, a lot of functions to it that don't show up on this display list here. Um, one that I'd recommend is a journal entry. And so if you go to company, make general journal, you'll see if you go to view, you can add make general journals to the icon bar. And that will pop it right in there so that it's just real quickly at your fingertips when you're in your reconciliation window. The last thing I want to talk about is using the account Ask My Accountant. Um, this is where you should be putting anything that is standing in the way of you reconciling. Any questions, anything you're not sure of, um, don't just not enter it. Enter it, put in Ask My Accountant, and review it later. Um, that will allow you to continue on to reconciliation and get all your questions organized in one spot. So just a real quick video there on uh, some more reconciliation tips. If you have any questions on this or anything else QuickBooks or bookkeeping related, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.